Hey, great to be here. Fantastic. It's uh, what, what a place to be, you know, with Melbourne during Grand Final Week. How good is it? Would you want to be anywhere else? Really? Hey, is it not that my team made it, by the way? Not happy about that. Any, any North Melbourne supporters in tonight? Whoa, like 20 of us. All right. It's just like a home game. Isn't that good? No, it's, uh, no, it's fantastic. Mind you, uh, who'd have thunk it, really? Richmond versus the Giants. Can you believe it? Man, ha haven't the Giants come a long way? I remember going to a game in Sydney to watch the Giants a few years ago when they first started. Wowee, talk about sparse. See more people get out of a Tirana. <laughs> At the end of the game, the players invaded the crowd. <laughs> but, uh, but no, actually, oh, before I forget, I need to do a quick shout out um, uh, to my Nana. Uh, I'm missing my Nana's birthday tonight. She's, uh, she's 96 years old. She's actually lost the will to die. <laughs> or be polite, it has to be said. But uh, it's fantastic to just see all the people backstage, uh, catch up with all the gang, you know, Billy, Croft, Fev, Doug Hawkins. Actually, Doug and I uh, drove in together tonight. I gave him five stars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and, uh, I was actually... Uh, I uh, reminded uh, of Sam recently. I was, uh, I was out, just uh, having a night out, and uh, this lovely couple came up to me, uh, probably in their late 20s or something like that, and uh, they came up and said, oh, Trev, just wanted to shake your hand, say, you know, love you on the show and all the rest of that, and uh, we're chatting away. And as I'm looking at them, I can't help but notice that they look incredibly similar. So I say, uh, hang on, say, are you guys related? And the guy got all downcast. He said, uh, no, he said, we go to the same plastic surgeon. <laughs> said, That's how we met, she says. Go, well, how good's that? They should stick in a bar at the plastic surgery if that's the place to meet, shouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's the order? Yeah, two tequila shots and just one chin, thank you. <laughs> but um, it was great fun always doing the show and I probably can reveal um, that I had a bit of an incident back in the day when I was on the show. Uh, it's always amusing, uh, the things that can happen when people recognise your face. I was, uh, I was invited to a friend's place for Christmas drinks and uh, turned into a bit of a night and uh, leaving about three o'clock in the morning. And uh, as I'm leaving, uh, my friend says, hey, you okay to drive? How are you getting home? I said, mate, had a couple early, taking it easy, pretty quiet, not a problem. I said, besides, I'm only five minutes away from home. What could possibly happen? <laughs> so as you can gather, right? I'm driving down my street, I'm 50 metres from my house, and all of a sudden, a police car, out of nowhere, flashing lights, pull over driver. Now, I won't lie to you, I'm thinking, yeah, there's a chance the guys might recognise me, just wave me on through. <laughs> so I bounce out of the car, evening fellows, how's it going? Nothing. <laughs> Line of length, uh, anything to drink tonight, uh, driver? I said, oh, well, Couple, uh, just one long continuous breath, thanks. So five minutes before, I'm thinking I'm fine. Suddenly, I'm just hoping. So I blow in the thing and the guy looks at it and he goes, mm, looks at his mate, says, oh, what do you think? Oh, gee, that's no good. I'm thinking this can't be happening. I'm 50 metres from my house. They're going, oh, gee, mate, uh, where do you live? I said, there, that's my house right there. I'd be home right now, I'd be in bed, but you stopped me. And they went, oh, what do you think? Oh, okay, mate, you can go. I'm thinking, phew, dodged the bullet. So the next day, get up, go to the shops, buy the bread, the papers, I'm walking home. There's a cop standing outside my front gate. Walk up and say, uh, g'day, mate. He said, g'day, Trev, how you going? I said, hang on a sec. Aren't you one of the guys who pulled me over last night? He said, yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact. I said, uh, what can I do for you? He says, mate, um, we're having our work Christmas party tomorrow night. <laughs> and we just wondered if you knew anyone who might be able to come down and do a comedy spot. I'm going, mate, yeah, yeah, righto, that's fine, that's fine. Tomorrow night I can do it. He said, look, you know, uh, obviously we haven't got much of a budget. We couldn't pay you that much. I said, mate, come on, I know the rules. You didn't charge me, I won't charge you. <laughs> 
that's good. But to finish off, so I go down, do the gig, got the room in front of me, my audience, 200 cops. And they're a good crowd. They're broad-minded. And the show goes nicely. Uh, afterwards, I say, Trey, hang around, have a couple of drinks with us. I went, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, so the cop hands me a drink. I go, blimey, what's that, a double? He said, uh, yeah. I said, mate, what are you trying to do to me? I've got to drive home. He said, mate, look around the room. He said, we're all here. Who's going to pull you over? <laughs> Actually, good point. I said, mate, the next one a triple. Keep them coming. <laughs> so we said, Lee, we have a few. At the end of the night, I shake a few hands and say my goodbyes. And the two cops have pulled me over. They said, oh, mate, we'll, we'll just walk you down to your car, mate. Just make sure you're okay. But oh, yeah, okay. So we're getting down there. And they're laying it on thick. They're saying, Trev, fantastic of you. We really appreciate it. You know, great of you to come down tonight, give up your time. And I'm going, boys, boys. I said, you know, you know I think it's pretty much win-win, right? I said, you know, you got a free show. I got to keep my license. The guy said, well, actually, he said, you only blew 0.03. <laughs> now, the other guy, he says, where had you been all night? He said, we're outside your house for friggin' hours. Thought you'd never come home. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you later on. Thank you very much. <laughs>